Hey guys, what is going on? This is I, Apple Geek, and Apple has recently released their very special 10th anniversary iPhone, the iPhone 10. And today I want to show you guys a few features on the iPhone 10 that you may have not known about. Now, a little disclaimer: if you are a huge Apple nerd like I am, you probably already know about these things. But in case you don't, I'm here to share them with you. All right, so the first thing I wanted to go over is the hidden home button that you're able to add on the iPhone 10. So as you guys may know, Apple did remove the classic home button that we are all used to. And for those of you who are having a little bit of trouble transitioning, there might be a solution for you. So go to settings and here go to general, accessibility, scroll down here to assistive touch and turn this on. Apple has renovated this function since iOS 11. So as you guys can see here, there is a panel for custom actions where you can set this little uh, toggle that pops up to do certain things when you interact with it. So for example, a single tap on this little button, I could set it to home. So when I tap on this, I go home just like a home button. Now, of course, there are many different actions you can do, like a double tap on this invokes reachability. For example, for something like long press or 3D touch, you can set it to control center. And we all know reaching all the way up here for the control center is a bit of a stretch when you're using the phone with one hand. So I have it set to 3D touch. And that way, when I have this little thing on the screen, I just 3D touch on it and it brings up the control center. All right, so another secret iPhone 10 feature that you may not have known about is the removal of fat icon mode. Now, this is not an official name, and I do understand it can be a little bit confusing. But on the previous iPhones, you did have an option for a large icon mode. So for example, here on the iPhone 8, if I go into settings here and go into display and brightness, you scroll down and here you can adjust the display zoom. So if I tap on that, you can see the standard view and an option for zoomed view, which makes your content a little bit bigger and makes the format how it was on older, smaller iPhones. However, on the iPhone 10, you do not get this option. So in here in settings, if we come in here to uh, display and brightness, you can see that this option has now been removed. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is reachability, which is something that Apple seemed to have removed from the iPhone 10, but it's actually still there. Now, reachability is the ability to reach all the corners of your screen by making it come down by double tapping on the home button. But now that the home button is gone on the iPhone 10, and if you go into settings, come back into general accessibility, and you can see an option for reachability right there. This is a little bit hard to invoke, and I really wish Apple would improve on this, where you swipe down on the bottom edge of the screen, as you guys can see, that didn't work. If you swipe down like so, it would come on now, it would bring down the icons. All right, so you know how on the old Apple devices, you can look on the back right here on the FCC labels, and you can see the model number. And when you have an iPhone, this is very important because if you wanna travel with your iPhone, you might wanna use it with an international carrier. However, if you don't know the model of your iPhone, you know, some carriers may not be compatible. And this is the same problem we see here on the iPhone 8. There are no FCC labels or model numbers on the back of this device. So there is a different way of knowing your model number. So if you go into settings, you go into general about, you can see all this information about your device. As you guys can see right there, the model MQCN something is not really what we're looking for. So what we wanna do in order to find the model number is just tap on that and there you go. You have the model number, which for this iPhone is A1865, the global model. This is to determine if your iPhone is GSM or CDMA or both, but that's a whole other discussion. Now, before we get to the last one, I did want to show you a couple honorable mentions that weren't really huge groundbreaking features, but they are secrets on the iPhone 10 nonetheless. So the first one is the breadcrumbs on the iPhone 10. It looks significantly different from the iPhone 8 and previous iPhones. It looks a little neglected. It could use some cleaning up. Now the second one would be the new default button combinations. I did make a separate video about this, so please go check that out. Link in description. Now one last feature that hasn't really been talked about and is something that really piqued my curiosity when I was looking to buy this phone was how is the status bar being handled in these two little tiny corners. As you guys can see, on the older iPhones, you've got your signal, Wi-Fi time, and whatever other indicators up there like location, alarms, battery. However, on the iPhone 10, 
these are the only ones that are really gonna be in your status bar most of the time. Now, how do I access the other ones? Like if I have an alarm set, how do I see that? It, Cause it doesn't show in the status bar anymore. This applies to things like location services as well. So let me go ahead and swipe down and you guys can see that there is the classic status bar with the no SIM, Wi-Fi, the alarm clock, the battery percentage. Now do note here that when you're using a location service, it will still show the little icon in the status bar. So for example, I just activated a location service. There's a little arrow right there in the top corner. And if I swipe down here, you can see that the arrow moves back on the side of the screen. It's also worth noting that inside of the battery settings, you no longer have the option for battery percentage. So if I go ahead and show you here on my iPhone 8, battery, there is a battery percentage thing right here. It does not have it on the iPhone 10. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I still have lots of iPhone 10 stuff coming up, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What are your thoughts about the iPhone 10? Does it add too much or is it a little too fingerprinty on the back? Or Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.